in this lesson, we're going to learn how to solve quadratic equations in the form of ax squared plus bx plus c uh, in this form by factoring using the slip and slide method. So basically all, basically all of our equations will have a number other than 1 in front of um, our x squared term. And I'm going to solve by factoring using the slip and slide method. Um, if you're not familiar with how to factor using that method, um, check out my video, uh, Factoring in this form using the slip and slide method and I actually link that um, video in the bio section um, of this video if you need to review. But I'm going to use the same method um, called the slip and slide method. The only added piece is that I'm going to um, at the end use a zero product property and you'll see what I'm talking about when I actually get to that part of the problem. Alright, so let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing you want to always do is make sure all of your terms are on one side and your equation is set equal to zero. So as you can see here, we have a positive three. To move it to the other side here, I'm going to subtract it. So you always use inverse operations, all right? And I'm left with two x squared plus five x minus three equals zero. I could not combine that negative 3 with anything over here because it is not a like term. That 3 is my constant, meaning it does not have a variable. Um, this has an x and this has an x squared. So I have to leave everything separate because none of them are like terms. So now this is in standard form. I have my x squared, I have my x, and I have my constant. All right. So now to factor using the slip and slide method, the first thing you want to do is slip this first term to the last term and multiply it. So 2 times negative 3 is uh, negative 6. So I want to rewrite this as x squared plus 5x minus 6 is equal to 0. Um, so don't worry about this piece for now, just look at my terms here. So I slip the first term to the end, multiply it by my last term and I just bring down my x squared. Next, I factor this. So if it doesn't have a number other than one in front of your x squared term, it's easy to factor. You just find two factors of c that equal b. So negative six is c, uh, my b is five. So what are factors of negative six that equal five or have a sum of five? So factors of negative six, but when I add them together, I get five. Um, and those factors are, let's see, six and negative one, right? Um, if I add, if I multiply six times negative one, I do get negative six. But if I add six and negative one, I do get five, all right? So my two factors are six and negative one. So my two binomials will be x plus 6 because that's a positive 6 and x minus 1. Alright, now the next thing I want to do is divide every what, divide what I slipped to the end. So whatever number you slip to the end or whatever your coefficient um, was for your x squared term or your a, I slip that 2 to the end, I want to divide it by my factors. So the number here I divide it by my factors, all right? And then if I can reduce, I want to reduce it. So um, six divided by two does reduce to three. So I could reduce that. Here I cannot reduce and not get a decimal. So I wanna slide that two up to the front. So that would be two X minus one. All right, so I have factored this equation and so just to recap the slip and slide method to factor, slip that first term to the end and multiply it by the last term. I got negative six. And when you bring it down, you should not have that term there. Factor your trinomial. So two factors of C that equal B. My two factors were six and negative one. All right, and I wrote my two binomials. I slip uh, or I slide my whatever I, I slipped to the end here. So I slipped that two, so I divide both of my factors by two. If you can reduce it, reduce, all right? If you cannot, you move that uh, factor or that number to the front of your binomial. So I've actually factored that equation. 
Now the only added piece is called the zero product property. I'm just going to set each one of my binomials equal to zero. And why am I putting n? You're probably wondering what's, why does she have n there? It should be x. Glad I caught that. X. Alright. Make sure I didn't put n anywhere else. Alright, so I just want to solve for x. That's a one step equation, so I'm just subtracting 3. x is equal to negative 3. Next, add 1. This is just a one step equation, or two step equation, I'm sorry. Um, inverse operations. So negative 1, so I added that to both sides, then I divided both sides by 2. So one step equation, two step equation. And my answer is x is equal to 1 half. Alright, so x is negative 3 and x is equal to 1 half. So I have solved this quadratic equation by factoring using the slip and slide method. Alright, so I'm going to uh, try one more problem with you before I have you try one on your own. Okay, so we want to solve this equation by factoring using the slip and slide method. So again, you want to move everything to one side. I could either move the negative 3x plus 6 to my right hand, to my left hand side, or move this over here. Doesn't matter, but I have a habit of moving everything to my left hand side, or just look to see what you have to move less of. Um, so in this case, it would be the same. So I have a 3x squared that is negative. I'm going to add it to the 3x squared over here because that is my like term, right? They both have an x squared. And then I'm going to subtract 6 from both sides also because that is a positive 6 and I have to do the inverse operation. So it cancels out on this side. 3x squared plus 3x squared is 6x squared. I bring down a negative 5x because that negative 6 is not a like term. It does not have an x. So I just bring down that minus 6 on its own. All right, so you can only combine your like terms, meaning they have the same variable and the same exponent. All right, so here I could combine it because it had the x squared. Um, over here I could not because this was a constant. All right, so um, the first thing I want to do is slip this first number or first coefficient to the end. So slip my first term to the last and multiply that, that's going to be x squared, because I just bring down my x squared, minus 5x. 6 times negative 6 is negative 36. Alright, now I want to factor this, my two binomials. So factors of negative 36 that equal negative 5. And again, if you could do it in your head, that's fine, but I'm, I'm just doing a t-chart just to show you how to get the factors. Um, so factors of negative 36, but when I add them, I get uh, negative 5. Um, 6 and 6, that will not work. Um, 9 and 4. So if I use 9 and 4, right? Um, one of them has to be negative because I want a negative 36. The 9 should be negative because when I add it, I want a negative 5. So negative 9 times 4 is negative 36, but when I add it, I do get negative 5, so my 9 will have to be negative because I want the negative 5. So my factors are negative 9, and I keep wanting to use n for some reason, I don't know why. So x um, minus 9, and x plus 4, and I could flip these numbers, it does not matter. Just bringing down my 0 until the end, and then I want to slide what I use to uh, slip. <laughs> so I slip the 6, so I want to divide that by 6, or divide my factors by 6. So whatever number you move to the end, that is what you want to divide by. Okay. Um, I can reduce it. I'm not going to get a whole number right here, but I can reduce. Uh, 9 over 6 reduces to 3 over 2. And 4 over 6 reduces to 2 thirds. So I want to slip my number here or slide it to the front, rather. I get the slip and slide piece mixed up. 
So move that 2 to the front. So 2x minus 3. Move that 3 to the front. 3x plus 2. So whatever your denominator is, move that to the front. All right. Um, and if you f happen to forget uh, to uh, reduce the fraction, you still should get the same thing. It's just that when you get your final answer, when you write your two um, equations, you're going to have to reduce. But it's always easier to go ahead and reduce first. All right, so setting this part equal to um, zero, I'm actually going to write it over here. So 2x minus 3 is equal to zero. And so that will be plus 3. 2x is equal to 3 divided by 2. So my first one is x is negative is positive 3 over 2 right and then I'm going to actually write it here so 3x plus 2 is equal to 0 subtract 2 again this is just a two-step equation nothing new divide by 3 so x is equal to 2 negative 2 thirds a lot of the same numbers, so make sure we're careful with that. So um, here I added 3 divided by 2, so that's positive 3 over 2. Here I had to subtract 2 and divide by 3, so x is negative 2 thirds. All right, so we've solved this problem um, by factoring using the slip and slide method. And so now let's try one on your own. All right, so I have this problem here that I would like for you to try on your own. Um, remember to move everything to one side to combine your like terms, but go ahead and just pause the video and try this problem on your own. All right, so you should have gotten n is equal to negative 6 fifths and n is equal to negative 2. Um, hopefully you got the problem correct. If you did not get it correct, maybe pause the video here and analyze my work here a little bit more. Uh, but this is our last problem, so I want to thank you for learning with me.